Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. Today we're going to try out Rift and it's a MMORPG back to, from 2017. I played it a lot back in the, the, the good old days when it came out in 2017. It has some very unique things in the game like invasions, uh, adventures, leveling and it just had the good old, you know, old school dungeon and raid concept. One of the cool things about this game also had it was had a two-man dungeon and it also had the, clo the role as a supporter. So it has the damage, DP sorry, the DPS, healing, support and healer. Really cool. So we're going to try and revisit this game now in 2020, nine years later this game released. So let's try it out. So the first thing I see here is the graphic isn't actually bad. I mean, the, the graphics actually looks quite enhanced. And there's not nothing where I'm looking like and this like this looks bad. But let's create a new character and see how the how the new user experience is today. So I can see we can choose between the Guardians and the Defiance. And I'm probably going to play the Defiance because I know they have a more funny starting zone. Well, they had in old days, I don't know if they still have today. We can choose between playing Ed, Kalari, and Barmy. I'm probably going to play, well, it depends on the ability. So Ed, they have like a sprint. Uh, Kalari has like a camouflage where they transform themselves into a fox. And Barmy has like a leap. So I think I will take the fox one. That sounds like fun. Then you have the classes to choose between called Warrior, Heat Cleric, Mage, Rogue, and the Primal List. The Primal List requires some kind of expansion pack. I don't have that, so can't get it. Well, you can buy it here for some gems. I, d I actually don't have enough kind of sad um, then I can see that each of the classes and roles in the game they can all be t tank damage he support healer and that's because each of the classes has like a lot of talent trees you can combine if you look at classic world of Warcraft talent trees they have the same in this game just with I don't I think every class have like 10 or 9 or something like that you can match match with yourself so if we look at how the class gear is looking so this is the warrior cleric mage rogue I think I'm going to play Rogue. I've never really played Rogue, so I'm going to play that. And I can see I can't be a healer because I need this Dream Soul Pack ex expansion. But that's fine. I'm probably going to be damaged anyway. So, as saying before, we have all the standard, well, all the, the ta different talent trees that you can combine. But they also have these pre-created specs that you can play. So we have the Vortex that is a tank Rogue. Um... Huntsman, damage, Night Stalker, damage, Skirmisher, damage, Combat Medic, so some kind of a healer with a bow, Mad Genius, and then probably my favorite one, the Bard, also called Virtuoso, but pretty much the Bard. So you play music, buff, heal, and you are support in the group. Pretty cool. But for this video, I'm probably going to create a Huntsman, as it is also the recommended spec. Um, I don't really mind how my character look like, so I'm probably just gonna click random. Oh, that's the name. So I'm gonna click random, let's zoom out. Okay, let's take that one. And random name. Okay, so... Here we are. In the game of Rift. Let's, let's see how the graphic looks. The graphic looks fine, it's not like any blurring effects. The game around us, the FPS is really smooth. Jumping animations isn't bad. The moving animations isn't really bad. No, I actually feel the game is still quite okay. So I have my Call Racer Beast. I guess that's my pet ability. And I have my Camouflage where I can turn myself into a fox. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Um... And then one of the things I talked about was the talent tree. If I press an N, you can see this is my talent trees right now. And if I click on it, you can see I can take a lot of different other talent trees. Like the bard if I want some kind of a, other spells. But in this case here, I'm just going with what they recommend. So I'll just say spend roll, spend all, and then it will take the talent trees for me. Uh, okay. Welcome back to life, Ascended. Hurry Accept on now. quest. We must get you to the time machine. All items obtained since the Talara stands on our shoulders. You will kill Talarian Husk for. Okay, that's the ones. 
Okay, so I can actually shoot while moving. Okay, so the so the combat animations, like how the arrows goes out, that one could probably use an update, and also the sound effects when shooting. But else, it feels quite quite cool. So I have the ranger. That's quick shot. Someone. Oh, that guy. I don't want to fight him. Then I have some melee abilities. That's some kind of a buff. I, I want that one. And then here also we have some elite abilities. I'm gonna see if I can use them or if not. Okay. Can I use my melee abilities? Oh, that one worked. Deals weapon damage plus 16 fire damage over 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. What if I use my primal strike? Okay, I can. Oh, I actually have daggers. Oh, it's like World of Warcraft in old days. Where you had like both melee and you had also a ranged weapon. I see, so I can pretty much like run against this mob, shoot him, and then I can go and, and stab him. Okay, and like a really old school classic Honda from World of Warcraft. I like that. Okay, so I got a new spell uh, because I chose automatically from my. Sp oh, okay, so every time I choose a talent tree here, I get a new spell down here. So it goes like this boom, 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 boom. So I got headshot. That is a com combi spell, so when I have five combos on them, I can use it, okay. And the second one. And there we go, further on with the quest. Okay, so here we have Koke Tikus. I want a better... Bow. Oh, he's giving me all of it. Okay, so I got a better bow and a better dagger. And it turns out I can't use. That's only for warrior primalist. Okay. So now I have to collect some stones from these monsters. Oh, so that headshot used all my five combo points I had under my portrait. Okay. So every time I use one of my spells, I'm actually getting one. Uh, okay. And I can have five, and then I can do the headshot. That's a lot of damage. Oh, okay, it has mass loot. I spent soul points. Thank you. Oh, it actually used one over an assassin. Interesting. Okay, so I have to deliver my quest over an... Okay, Ash, uh, finish. Accept. And then I got a... Uh, New chest. Okay, cool. And I assume we have to kill these mummies guys. But I have to kill this one, he's in front of it. What is my buff actually doing? Can I loot this guy? This one. Grand weapon ability, 50% chance to deal additional water damage in grain. Okay. Let's try that one. Okay, I think it works, but it well, you can't really see when it happens. I 
I kind of like this spec, having a pit, melee weapons, shooting. It's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so we got some boots and we have some back. Accept. And new boots. New back. Thank you. Spin souls. Oh, a new, new spell. And where's that one coming from? That comes from this one. Bleeds. Oh, it's a bleeding spell. That's cool. So now we have two damage your abilities and then we have these. Okay, I like that. What am I going to do now? Use Resonance Capacitor on Guardians. You probably wonder why I got this mount. Um, I found out that I can go to the shop and I had 14 gifts I could get. So that's that's pretty cool. And also I have like 1000 di diamonds that I can use and stuff. So I can, you know, I can go in here and say mounts and buy something. You can say I have 1000 diamonds and I can buy all these for 90. I don't know why I'm so rich. Don't ask me why I'm that rich. So now I have two abilities dealing damage over time. Ooh, that one bleeding is dealing a lot of damage over time. Okay, so that's one that one is like a I have to like precast. Okay. Wow. I actually just found out I, I'm not supposed to kill these. I have to use this one on them. That's pretty stupid to kill them then. Kill Frederick the Betrayer. Regulus commands the destruction of this device. He looks pretty cool. I like your armor. The fools. So two damage abilities over time, and then a combo. Do not ask my name. I abandoned it long ago. Keep your secrets close. Okay, so Neo Quest used the soul reclamation device on. Shyla the Fallen Corpse. I assume that's her. Oh, she attacked me. Die, die. Is it now I have to use it? No, okay, I have to use it a corpse. If you're probably wondering why do you look so freaking awesome right now, well, I went into the the store and and you can buy you can buy like crazy amount of cosmetics so i bought this set here so i look look freaking amazing so now you don't have to look at noob now you can look at like level four who looks probably better than every of your character and every of your other games in the world i must admit this this set he has on right now she looks freaking amazing yeah so this is actually a game if you want to pay money, you can actually look incredible. I just had a lot of points, I don't know why. It's probably because I'm I'm like a veteran gamer and I have bought the game and all that, so oh, I have to use that one on a corpse. Oh I don't wanna be a fox. Return to a faceless man at Tempest Station. Looks like we have to. Oh, uh, we have to cleanse our soul. Question my motives if you would be ever mindful. Vitor uh, dead. Uh, we, need, we need to kill that guy. Thank you. And then we need to get a soul fragment from these. Damn it. 
I missed. Shuck, shuck, shuck. I like that if I get too close, I could just like melee them. That's pretty cool. Uh, better hands, better build, and better pants. I like that. There we go. Back to us with the quest. took on same time wait should I do I really have to fight this or can I just like okay you can just run past it report to master arms Ooh, spend soul points, a new buff, and a new finisher. Oh, that's like a passive attack power and weapon damage increase by four. That's really cool. Uh, and I don't want to use that because I don't go up in night blades. So I'm just gonna use these spells over here. So final blow and savage strike. Uh, speak with Steve Rose. Quickly restore health and mana. <laughs> yes, friend. May the flame burn brightly. It'll take me just a few minutes to spin up the device. Stay back. This isn't right. Regulos must be blocking the temporal screen. Oh, so he's creating one of the rifts. These rifts, you will see them a lot in the game, and it will have like this icon out here, where it shows what level it is and how, much, how many monsters that's back. And it's going to have a quest. Did you think my master will allow you to escape so easily? Your petty machines will help you no more than the gods you spurn. Just have to kill four, and then it goes to the next, next phase. Stage complete. Played. It's probably because I look so freaking awesome. And then my master shall consume this oh, world we're going to face her. Regulos, I'll 
keep him busy while you go through the portal. Hurry! I don't know how long we can hold him back. Go, go, go! What made you think you would ever defeat us without a fight, monster? <laughs> I mean, what? Okay, that's a dragon. So basically, if you don't know really what happened is that we, this, all the races that come from this faction here is, is coming from the future. So they are in a future where the bad guy is basically killing everyone. And as you can see here, we are losing and it's the end of. Yeah, it's been pretty much end of the world. So we are traveling back in the time for, you know, saving the world again. Or try to save the world. I kind of I, I kind of like it. It's only if you play this faction. If you play the other faction, they are just like, yeah. So, so we know what happens in the future. Mm, I think I'm going to try gun. Yeah, let me try that gun. Nice. It's kind of sad because I actually like to have those quivers. But a gun is fine. I have a gun. Jenny has a gun. Okay. Uh, from here on, it's pretty much just a game where now you play the game, you go a level, you can open up the dungeon find, I begin to do dungeons when you come to a certain level. You can do like, you can say activities, you have chronicles. Um, I can't really remember what instant adventures is so fun. It just teleports you through around the world to level up like a it keeps teleporting you to like zones where something is happening like events. Daily rewards, looking for group, looking for raid. They even have a looking for raid in this game. Wow. Two tanks, two healers, one support, five damage. Okay, that's actually quite small um small groups. When can I do this? You or an ally has no willing rows selected. Oh. Can I do it now? It's low level. Okay, so I, need, I need to go to level 70. That is the max level. Okay, I was just like, what? Can I do that now? Uh, minions? What is that? Okay, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Uh, war fronts that is pvp welcome world promo events abilities achievements character crafting planner quest lock soul tree ascend a friend oh okay so i can uh, use this link in the description and people can go in and play and give me items that's cool uh yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And, and then a shop where you get like tons of items. What is this patron stuff? Currency bonuses, extra loot and content, boost and power ups, convenient. Our patron subscribers get small discount and extra loyalty rewards and an enormous variety of bonus to the currency mount speed. Experience gains on top of that. Patrons have enhanced luck in rewards through affinity and exclusive access to chests with chance of premium items. Okay, so it reminds us like a bit, little bit about Elder Scrolls Online, where you get like reduced listing price, ten percent more purchase with credits and store. Uh, you receive affinity points, forty percent boost to X, to PP XP and reputation gain. Well, okay, that's kind of overpowered. Forty percent, forty percent currencies from dungeons. 40% XP helps your level faster to 60 and beyond. Or talk a lot of it, you'd rather take it slow. Patrons earn rested XP bonus when offline. Earn a rested XP bonus. Okay, that's quite a lot of things. So if you really like this game, it really sounds like that. 
patron is something that you probably it, it's worth if you like this game i'm like is anyone actually playing this game so i can see in this zone i'm right now in i can do a search uh and we are two persons and what if i say like one to 70 and 70 to 70 Okay, I mean, it looks like there is actually a lot, a lot of players. 69 to 69. Okay, that was not a good example. What if I do 60 to 69? 65. Okay, it has some players. Um, so I definitely there's still people playing this game. As we can see here, so that's... That's a good thing. Well, so yeah everyone this is um rift where you can transmog die your gear play adventure and over there you can see there's a rift there's like a yeah you just just saw that you can go to a completed get experience points and so on so i would still say to the day of today the game is actually still fun um no doubt in that i kind of want to progress continue but again then i know it's also kind of dead game i think um, so it's I kind of have a thing I can't really play dead games for some reason I'm like I need to play popular games I don't know why so that's the thing thanks for watching everyone leave down a comment let me know what you think about this river sitting rift so thanks for watching have a nice evening peace out and remember to subscribe if you want to see more content about MMORPGs